How does this look? I don't know. Should I just go for it? Just wing it? Hey YouTube, uh, another paint firearm tutorial demonstration. I don't know what video. Uh, we're going to be doing this Marlin 22, which I already, as you can tell, kind of uh, did a little bit of work to already. This was originally a black polymer 22 rifle, and I went with like a rattle can camo that I just really didn't like. Um, and so I kind of stopped halfway through, like, you know, you can kind of see some crappiness on the barrel. I just never cleaned it up because I, I didn't really like the way the rattle came out or rattle cam cam rattle cam cam came out. Um, and I don't know if you can even see it there. Try to catch, you know, when you catch the light in a certain way, it shows up, but like from a distance, it really just looks tan. So we're going to try to do a more traditional camo pattern over this and um i'm kind of interested in seeing how the rattle cam is going to show up if i just put stencils right over so i'm gonna do like little stencils um to start with and then i'm gonna move into a pretty dark brown and then go with like the lighter colors uh after that i'm just doing hand movements I don't know what to do with my hands, you know? I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, let's just, uh, I don't think there's anything else to say. Let's just jump right into the, the stenciling and the painting. Here's our selected paints. I want to alternate between dark light, dark light as I paint. I'm going to start with this one because I don't want, I think this brown is a little too dark, but I mean, I don't know, it's on the can it looks like it blends in well with the sand thing, but I definitely want it to be not the, like the primary thing showing through. So I, I think if we start with that as we layer over top, it'll become less of a focus. And again, still interested to see how that's going to look with the, there is going to be, I'm going to do some tape for the existing rattle can pattern, which I believe I used just, uh, I think it was just these two. And there just, there just wasn't a big contrast, obviously, as I think you can tell. So we got our first set of stencils on. Um, I wanted to protect that rattle can uh, just a little bit. I don't. E I don't. You know. I don't know how that will look. I tried to put it in a couple of just the dense spots where the rattle can did show up, and then maybe when we get done uh, painting, there'll be just these few little spots of rattle can that will kind of blend and pay homage to the original concept I was going for before I decided to cancel and pivot to something a little bit uh, less subtle. Because again, it's just. You know, in this lighting, the rattle can shows up um, fairly decently, but in in most lighting, it just looks like uh, tan gum. So, uh, first layer we're going to do is the dark brown, like we said before. It's time for a sticker peeling off extravaganza, and I already see stencils coming right off. I don't like the look of that. That's not positive. All right, I already took some stickers off the other side for the TikTok version of the, God damn it, for the TikTok version of the video. Uh, let me tell you, I wasn't super happy with it. I'm never super happy with it, and other people have to Tell me, but there's more fucking, I gotta do something better than putting stuff on foam. Lessons learned. The foam thing wasn't 
wasn't a successful endeavor. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some stickers off, and uh, you'll see. Well, I'm not sure how close I should be standing to my camera, and I'm not sure how uh, this looks from y'all's end. Um, overall, <clears throat> I like the pattern and the general aesthetic better than what I had before. Um, but at like at like close up detail look. The stencils didn't really like they're, they're the lines are really hard. I was kind of hoping this would turn out as good as the AR I did, and it didn't at all, in my opinion. I got to clean up the barrel, um, and I've got some some detail stuff I can do with a pen, but overall, this just didn't really turn out how I wanted it to turn out at all. So, but there you go, semi-finished, uh, probably not the end of the video though, we'll see what I can do with the details. Uh, like I got like paint pens and stuff. All right, so the finishing touches, um, I did paint the barrel uh, black, um, and then uh, you're not gonna be able to see it at all, I don't think. I added some green to the front sight um because i was thinking about actually taking this off and putting like a night sight thing on it but i'm not uh, taking the time to research that on this 22 but i i think that would look cool so i just went ahead and painted it like a bright green color to make that kind of vibe um but yeah overall lessons learned should have kind of done more should have could have would have kind of done more brown on this pattern um did get uh, I do like the way that looks, and I, in particular, I like the way the Marlin emblem looks. Those are the two things I'm the most happy with, is the, the buttstock and the Marlin logo on the bottom of the gun. But, uh, you know, everything other than that, uh, well, relatively happy with it. You know, it's, uh, it's a tool, not a piece of art. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I only have like five people that watch. So thank you though to those.